Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Modern Deck Critique here on YouTube or Twitch, wherever you're watching. Um, this was a deck submitted by John S. And uh, he says the idea is to take advantage of Dominaria's Gitu Lavamancer as a third two power one drop. Gut Shots and Surgical Extractions are in the main deck to make it more likely to turn on Gitu Lava, Man Lava Runner on turn one. And how can I turn down a deck with Gut Shot in it? That's the question I gotta ask myself. Um, so, Jonathan mentions that uh, <clears throat> he's not super familiar with uh, Modern. He hasn't played in a while, he said. Uh, I haven't played competitively in years now, not even at a local game store, but once you get to Fire uh, Fire Lava Runner, is playable in a format other than Popper. And Gitaxian Probe would be better, but he says, you know, it's not legal, as you, as we all know. So, um, <clears throat> But that being the case, being that he's, you know, less familiar with Modern, he does mention that um, the 2-2 the two -two split of a, a, a Braden Shattering Blow to deal with Chalice on turn one or other troublesome artifacts, be, because Shattering Blow exiles, it prevents uh, God Pharaoh's Gift and Scrap Heap's Ground shenanigans. But um, he might not have known that that uh, those are not relevant strategy strategies in modern. You know what I mean? So I think based on that fact, we can easily take these out. And like like I said, we're gonna we're not gonna run through a league. We're just gonna play some some cues to see how the deck plays, and then we're gonna tweak it as we go because I think that's a little more conducive to uh, getting a better experience than than playing a bunch of rounds with a deck that may not be in, in fighting shape, and then uh, giving feedback and then not playing any rounds with it at all after that. <clears throat> so. I would take these out. Uh, I think a braid is good, but uh, we do want spells that go to the face. So I would almost say smash to smithereens is better, but if they don't have a target, then it's just a blank. I would almost put the braids in the sideboard <clears throat> because to be, to be honest, you're not too concerned with this kind of effect in the main deck. Um, the other thing is that we have Blood blood Crypts and uh, Koth over here. Or not Koth, but a bunch of black cards in the sideboard. So the Wooded Foothills doesn't really make sense, especially because it can't get a Swamp. So it should probably just be a fourth Bloodstain Mire. There is no, there are no green cards in the deck anywhere. Um, also, it's 16 lands. I'm not sure the likelihood of us casting Koth, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. But you got to consider all of these are one-drops. <laughs> The only two drops, quote unquote, two drops in the deck are the abrades. Um, but then we go down here, and so we have a three-three split of wild slash and shock. And realistically speaking, wild slash is just a better shock. Like shock costs one, or shock costs—they both cost two. They both deal two damage to any target. Um, but wild slash just has an upside. So I would actually do that. Um, I wish I was more familiar with burn spells for burn decks because then I would have better suggestions. Um, I, I think we actually want to maximize the number of one mana three damage spells, which with Lightning Bolt, Lava Spike, and uh, Rift Bolt, we might have done. I'm not sure. I don't think there's any chance we're going to... And also, Burst Lightning is actually just strictly better than Shock as well because it's actually just a Shock with, with Kicker. So, we can maximize our burst lightnings as well. Two more of those, and take out the shocks. So basically, we're just we're just we're just efficient. We're uh, efficient. Uh, efficiency. What's the word I'm looking for? Maximizing our efficiency here. <clears throat> I don't think there's a word for efficient. I don't think efficiency can be a verb. I don't think we can be efficient. Efficientizing the deck. So we're just maximizing the efficiency as it goes. Uh, wizard's lightning just doesn't seem like. Is this what is? Is it a wizard? That's no, a monk. And Goblin Guys. The, the problem with Wizard's Lightning is that it costs three unless you have one of these guys. And we only have four of these guys. So with 16 land deck, I want to minimize the amount of three drops we have in the deck. Um, hmm. So if we take out the Abrades... If the Surgical is there to just turn on <clears throat> Lava Runner, I think Mutagenic Growth would actually be better. That's a good call. That's a good call. And one of the things I like about these uh, these videos is that we do have people in the chat being able to give input, which is great. And I think we can actually take out the Ley Lines in the sideboard, or maybe, and bring, put in the Surgicals over here. I like that better because Ley Lines kind of problematic. If you don't have it in your opening hand, your likelihood of casting it is very, very low. Yeah, I like I like mutagenic growth in here a lot. I think that's probably 
perfect. Plus two, plus two seems significantly better than uh, <clears throat> than a random cough. Or not a random cough, a random surgical extraction, rather. I like Bump in the Night. I just don't want to... I don't want to rely on getting one of these uh, eight black sources. That's why you bring in the, the swamps and they have nine black sources, but... Um, yeah, this is going to be the lowest curve deck I think I've ever played. Uh, we still have two open slots, and we also have uh, two of braids that I might not be sold on because they just don't go to the face. So I'm thinking... I, I, <clears throat> I feel like these should be Searing Blaze, but I, I worry about the odds of us hitting... A red source on uh, to a second land. Yeah, I think the abrades are actually fine, but we do have two more slots to fill. Grim Lava Mancer, maybe. Shrine of Burning Rage actually could be decent. Especially with the number of spells we're playing. I worry about the ability to get, get to three mana to activate it, but... There are artifact kill spells that also deal face damage, but I don't want an exclusively artifact spell. Like, I don't want a Destructive Revelry or a Smash to Smithereens in the main deck, because they could be blank, whereas an Abrade is probably never going to be blank. I do kind of like Shrine, though. That's kind of a cool... What's a Furnace Scamp? That's not how you spell furnace at all. Where does combat damage player with sacrifice if you do? Um, I don't hate that. Skullcrack is two mana. Actually, Skullcrack is probably pretty good. <clears throat> Let's go with Skullcrack. That's actually exactly what we're looking for. Say so this is why I keep you guys around. All right, sweet. So this is what we're gonna try out first. Uh, we've uh, traded the the. Uh, Shattering Blows for Skull Cracks. We've maximized our efficiency. We've changed mutagro mut Surgical Extraction to Mutagenic Growth. And we've also upgraded all of the Shocks, which were uh, uh, strictly worse than Wild Slashes and Burst Lightnings. So let's see what's happening. Which one is the Mountain on? Oh, God. Just go quote Mountain. I like how you did, I like how you did Command Mountain and then Command Quote 19. You gotta do command quote mountain, buddy. <laughs> there you go, you figured it out. Alright, let's see how this deck fares. Mono red. Alright, <clears throat> this is a deck that is not not in my wheelhouse. So I'm, I'm waiting. What does that mean, I'm waiting? I guess we're waiting in the queue, but I don't know what I meant by that. Uh, this is not any any deck that's running around. This is a deck that was submitted to me by a, a, a viewer. I always want to say a reader, like it's an old-timey magazine. Long-time reader, first-time caller. Would you like to play first? I would love to. Um, see, this is the kind of hand I like, but we only have one creature. I will keep it still. We can't actually mulligan this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to crack this immediately because we want to minimize the number of lands we draw because two is actually way more than enough. Frank will be taking questions on the air today for uh, all your listening needs and uh, traffic's coming up next, so stay tuned for these uh, commercial sponsors. So we're going to attack right now, and... Uh I assume you're not going to block, so I'm going to shoot your face and pump this. 
This is where they go, crack my misty rainforest. Plant zombie, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. They're at 14 already when they crack their land. And uh, Richard's up next with the weather, so uh, be sure to tune in. So the biggest concern I have with the deck, uh, just initially going into this, is that cards like Wild Slash are not as good as cards like Boros Rage, Boros Charm, or Atarka's Command, um, which both deal three and four. So my initial concern is that it's just not worth lowering the curve of the deck and removing uh, the more powerful burn spells just for G2 Lava Runner. <clears throat> Wall of Rudy Tooties. Uh, okay. I'm just going to abrade this guy in, when they block, so. That gives us something to do with our... Hmm. Or maybe... That guy's got... That guy does have the haste now. Well, he's going to have the haste next turn, too. So we have four damage here. Oh, Bedlam Reveler could be good. See, that's a good idea, Sarah. <clears throat> it might be better than main deck of Braid. Actually, what we could have done is played this guy and wild slashed you, but I like using this instead. Oof, that's rude. That's not a nice thing to do. Get in there, little lava man. I feel like the uh, the Death Shadow should just be the main deck. Wow, this is just tremendously rude. Three, four, five. We have seven damage in hand. So as long as there's no Life Gain shenanigans, no Hunt Master of the Fells or Kitchen Finks. Yeah, that's fine. Little Lava Man is the name of my top 100. Wow, top 100? I expected it to be higher on the charts than that. Pay a red. Does it cost two? Because <laughs> I just put a red in my pool. All right. <clears throat> How about there? There you go. We did it. What did they get back? They got back a Misty Rainforest. Might as well kill this instead because we're gonna deal two from the prowess. So if we if, if they block, um, oh, they took two anyway. Wow. Sure, third lightning bolt. Why not? All right. So any three damage spell and they're dead. But they're probably gonna play hunt master here. That's not a hunt master at all. Intriguing. Come on, lightning bolt off the top. <clears throat> I'll also take one of our two lava spikes. Four lava spikes. That is not it. This is really like a white source. The Felidar Guardian. Kill us. It's not a white source. I 
Well, got him. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Um, <sighs> see, a braid's probably not great here. I'd rather have thought seize. I think Death Shadow should just be in the deck. What up, Amped? I don't... I think this is actually fine. I don't know if I like the mountain here. Or the, the swamp here, rather. I think this is more than enough for two black cards. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage and two mutagenic growths. Is this hand keepable? I'll keep it. I'll risk it for the biscuit. Any creature and like we got a game. That is not a creature. Spaghetti or fish and chips? Why not both? These are the questions we ask ourselves. Why not both? One mana guy. That's not a one mana guy at all. <clears throat> You put the fish and chips on the spaghetti. Spaghetti. There's a Lafof in here? That dude's crafty. Dang it. What is the deal? What's the deal with these lands? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're at a virtual eight. And then we got four damage here, so virtual four. Oh, a Bloodbraid Elf. Eldritch Evolution. Wow, oh, that's a good hit. If we can draw like a one mana dude, we might just win here, actually. <coughs> That's not it. <laughs> it's a sad day in the uh, I need a one mana creature land. Because we'd have like a... So they're all, they're all two power, right? So we even Monastery Swift Spear. Like Monastery Swift Spear. Actually, Monastery Swift Spear is we're thinking of. Because it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, kill this idiot. Well, this card's problematic, as you can imagine. Yeah, it probably should have actually just killed this. I forgot it was. <clears throat> I didn't. I didn't realize this gave you hexproof as well, because it's a new card. It's pretty good though. Oh, that's troublesome. Yeah, we're going to scoop to that. The problem is we can't kill this, this, and start dealing you damage after that. 
Um, yeah, seems fine. We have Goblin Guides, we have uh, Monastery Swiss Spears, and we have um, G2 Lava Runners. There's a Lava Runner. I will keep this hand. So we can actually go Goblin Guide into Lava Runner next turn after casting Mutagenic Growth and Burst Lightning, which is pretty sweet. Unmulligan you. You're welcome. Ooh, a forest. A basic forest. Huh. <clears throat> well, we're definitely getting a Bloodstained Mire. A Blood Crypt, rather. So... Mugenic Growth and Burst Lightning turn this guy on. Man, giving you all the lands. All the all the fetch lands, no less. Oh, another bird. How pleasant. Oh, cracking that bad boy, huh? Are you gonna go to eight here? For your lightning bolt? Probably. No, you just got a mountain. Okay. No lightning bolt. Man, Kitchen Finks. Oh, blasted. Foiled again. Well, we just need a two damage spell here. Oh, they're going to block with that little, little cutie. Okay. So they go back to 10. We put you to 6. And then you die before the trigger. Oh, oh. Get a planes here. No, you can't get a planes. You got to get a forest. Okay. So now we only need a three damage spell. That's actually pretty good. That that should probably do it. Oof. <clears throat> Got him. All right. Good games. It actually feels this feels less oppressive than a normal red deck too, so Okay, okay. Um, I like Grim Lava Mancer in the deck, to be honest. I think that's actually pretty good. It's it's basically a two damage, a two a two power burn creature, right? I like it better than a braid. I think a braid can go to the sideboard. I don't know if the costs are good enough. Like it's I feel like it's very rare that you're gonna have enough mana for Koth. And then we can bring in Grim. You don't want four though, because you don't want to overload on Grim Lava Mancers. Bring in two Grim Lava Mancers. I feel like I feel like we can also add like another wooded foothill over a mountain. I don't think we need to be hitting that many lands. I don't hate a black cleave cliffs. Actually, black cleave cliffs seems fantastic because you're never going to actually care that it comes into play. So we can take that guy out. Take out. Four fetches. We'll have. This actually seems. We might have eight mana, eight late lands to get with Blood Cleave Cliffs. Or uh, to get with Blood Crypt. All these lands have blood in the name, uh, except for the Black Cleave Cliffs. Bedlam Reveler. So this guy's almost always going to cost two. That actually seems very, very good. 
realistically, you can probably cut one wild slash. Well, two wild slashes probably. And we'll bring in two Bedlam Revelers. This is like a top end. Which, and by top end, I mean actually we'll cut one gut shot and one wild slash. Kyle, 47 months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, buddy. Oh, sideboard has oh, because we cut we cut two coths and one surgical. So um So we'll just we'll put one coth back. I think one coth could be fine. Alright, so we added two more be two bedlam revelers. We cut one gut shot, we cut one wild slash, and we added two grim lava mancers as well. And we also traded lands for black cleave cliffs, because the odds that these come into play tapped is very, very low. So let's see if that if that does anything. Yeah, I like this system of, of, of doing it a lot better because you get to uh Actually Yeah, I think you're right. I don't think we need the swamp because we do have black cleave cliffs now. Like this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is twelve twelve black sources. I don't think we need the one swamp. We can just add the other cough back. Sixteen lands though. Oof. Um Just add a third of braid. Just in case. Or add a th I, I like a third skull crack just in case they have life gain. Yeah, let's do that. He said reassuringly to himself. Yeah, okay. If we're, I, I agree with you. If we're, if we're starting a braid in the sideboard, I think Master Smithereens could be better. But sm I think a braid is still more versatile in the when it's brought in. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. <clears throat> this hand is basically exactly what the deck wants to be doing which is swift spear next turn we can go lava mancer gut shot burst lightning poke mooney have a good have a good uh work day And get in there. How hard do we cry if opponent gets Chalice on one? Oh, really hard. Really, really hard. But it's not super common, so... So salty. Two months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Not so often here since the cube is gone, but I'll be supporting you still, and we'll be back again for the next cube. Appreciate it, buddy. That is all I could ask for. That is more, more than enough, sir. I can't talk about my content creator status. It was a long time ago. Many dinosaurs were harmed. What did they hit? Reality smashy. That's a better hit, I think. Let's get a blood. No, we don't have any black cards in the deck, right? There's no bl nothing black in the main deck. We can actually just get a uh, just get a mountain here. So, well, it's funny. I'm playing against reality smashers, and I'm playing gut shots here. Uh oh, Mattery Shaper. Like you do. Like you do, 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 do. That's not what we wanted to see. But it might just be fine. Hit this dude. Don't reveal another one. A mountain. Okay. I accept. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven. I think we just put them to three here. Plus, it, they if they have Thought Not Seer, we just make it so they don't have anything to hit, which is nice. And we have so many live draws right now. Even Rift Bolt is live without them having an extra turn. So I think this is a matchup we definitely bring in the Abrades. But what do I know? Well, that is pretty good. <clears throat> There's only one creature though, and they don't have a they don't have a green up. Oh, interesting. All right, no lightning bolts. They didn't have Lightning Bolt last turn, I don't think. Because they put the Mountain into play. What? Should we have let these attacks go through? I don't know. We need to get the, the Scavenging is off the board, so... Lightning bolt that guy, sure. All right, you're at one. So forest is offline for colored mana. Talisman's offline for colored mana. Not like you need colored mana. We know you have a reality smasher in hand. we go oh god well that's actually great for us because they didn't keep up any uh they didn't keep up any green another another matter of shaper all right one time off the top any burn spell this doesn't do a tremendous amount. actually they didn't kick it did they Take three. They can't actually attack with everything. Well, they can't attack with this guy anyway, so. All right, one time. That'll do. <laughs> Surprisingly, that'll do. <clears throat> like, all the creatures in our deck have haste at this point, so. Woo! Goblin Guide, get in there. For the winsies. That is a thing. All right. So, I probably want Thoughtseize here. I wonder if I also want Death Shadow. Hmm. These are the questions we ask ourselves. <clears throat> Take the gut shots out for thought seizes. I feel like anger is bad, worse for us, but I don't know. Like we don't care if they have creatures, uh, because the only reason that we care if they have creatures is because our can't our creatures can't get in there. But it's never. I don't think the game's ever at a point where like they overwhelm the board and we just don't have. Like usually you've already lost at that point. I'm just swapping gut gut shot for thought seize. Yeah, it was a shock that keeps on giving. The problem with Bump in the Night is that we just... Uh, I don't want to have to rely on the black mana in game one. And also... Um, Amped, welcome back. Thank you so much for the two-month sub. Really appreciate it. Um... 
you don't want to rely on the black man, and also the odds of us kicking it is very, very low. Uh, I'll keep this hand. For obvious reasons. It's gonna be no hierarchy. Bird of Paradiso. Hmm. It's got a goblin guide here, right? Let me go Swift Spear, Lava Spike, Growth, Growth. All right, that's good to know about. I have a feeling you're gonna play a... Uh... Oh, you're just gonna play this guy. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, four fours are pretty problematic, unfortunately. Thoughtseize might not even take care of this guy because it might have just been... They might just have the one. <clears throat> oh, they took the Swift Spear. That's sad. It's okay. There's another one right here. Oh, it's a Goblin Guide. Okay. No land. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Okay. <clears throat> Throw some big biddies your way. I'm in. Give me them biddies. Oh, we are going to get the block. Ancient Stirrings, Noble Hierarch. I don't care about either of these cards. I guess we'll get rid of the Ancient Stirrings. So there are Virtual 9. Uh, this guy is going to get Lightning Bolted so we can Mutagenic Growth. Got him. Chad Bradbury, thank you so much for the Patreon pledge, buddy. Really appreciate it. As always, one of my favorite supporters. Spencer, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see, sir. So, what did you play? You played Keswick Wolfron? And... Noble Hierarch. So, we now have Carpluzen Forest... Lightning bolt in hand. Don't be something good. Yeah, that's actually fine. That's worse for you than it is for us. That's very, very okay. I mean, they could probably still play it just to, uh, I mean, like, it seems like they don't need lands at this point. They have five mana, which casts everything from Reality Smasher to Thought Not Seer, but. Oof, aggressive. No blocks. The main page says Lorin. Oh my god. That's hilarious. Wow. 
That is actually hilarious, dude. Oh, boy, that's a good... <laughs> that's a gem right there. Uh, sure. I think everyone's dead. I will shoot your face. So we know you have lightning bolt in hand. <clears throat> no land, no land, no land, no land. Nothing good either. Don't be anything good. I want you to lightning bolt here so that I can pump and then you can blow your thing and then I can play Lava Mancer. Grow over the burn willows. Well, that's sad. Now you need you guys even less. The lightning bolt's problematic. Sure. And we're just going to play this guy. We can't protect him, so. What's a lower in draft? Alright, so these are... You played Grove? Alright. Well, that's pretty good. That's a good dude. You going to let me untap with this Lava Mancer? I doubt it. I have my doubts. No, give me that life. You got it. <clears throat> Hmm. I guess we can just pass here. They have no cards in hand. They're in the old yield top deck mode. All right. I bet we can do a lower end draft. I don't know how well received it would be, but here comes a smasher. Eh, it's probably thought nots here. Yep, figured as much. Probably should just unload the lava spikes, but. I was holding them in case we drew a creature that is relevant with them, like a Monastery Swift Spear. But it was probably just better to put them to four. Yeah, because now they'd be at two, and we would be significantly closer to just killing them, but... Uh, we'll take seven here. The old yield two-turn clock. There's nothing we can draw, I think, that wins us the game. Outside of, like, Monastery Swift Spear would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Monastery Swift Spear, if they don't have an answer, would win us the game. Oh, so close. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. So close. Yeah, that lava spike would have made a lot of difference because this this they would have taken this instead. And um actually I mean we're not dead. We're actually probably dead to Kessig Wolf run, right? Actually we go pump shoot. One, two, pump. Do you have another card in your hand? Oh, I see. One, two, pump. So they can add two to anything? Yeah, we're dead. Because this is going to be a 6-4, and even if this guy's a 4-4, four, four, we still take two from the growth. Yeah, this is bad. And they drew another land, so...
Depends on where they put the... If they put it on this guy correctly, then we're in good shape. Or bad shape, rather. Yep, that'll do. All right. Yeah, misplay there was playing, not playing the lava spike when we had a chance. Do we want another skull crack? Probably, actually. Take out one wild slash for one skull crack. Uh, nope, none of these. All right, take the gut shot out. What was the other card we added? The wild, wild shot, wild slash. Sure. What up, squirrel monger? Bedlam Reveler would have been a great draw any of those turns. It's basically a two mana uh three four. This guy's a one mana two two. Nope, this where are you? This guy. Kyle, have a good afternoon, buddy. Just waiting on the submission here. Thursday. Woo. Man, time zones are crazy. Ideally, the curve looks more like this. <laughs> 16 lands. This is probably the lowest number of lands I've ever played in a deck. Wings Wednesday, that is basically Chicken Sunday. All right. Oh. Oh, turn one Lava Mancer. Lava Runner. Let's live the dream. how much damage we're taking though but any land in this bedlam reveler is look we're both at 14 it's totally fair oh give me that life gotta take two more damage here good lord we're basically dead what do you got here? Eldrazi Temple. Let's get rid of Thought Knots here, probably. Yeah, that guy's terrifying. I like that your only red source right now are Groves, so we're actually going to gain some of this life back. Paella Thursdays? So that doesn't even make any sense. Bloodbraid Elf. Matter Reshaperio. Uh, so you played Eldrazi Temple and you played Matter Reshaper. We do want another land here. That's uh, that's the, the ideal here. I think we just... Let this guy die. We don't want to... Their lightning bolt's basically dead, so... Sure. Oh. 
I would like another land here. That would be great. I'm worried that we should have used Mutagenic Growth the other turn because they have Lightning Bolt. Wooded Foothills. All right, so we revealed, I think we revealed Eldrazi Temple and that's what came. So I think they still have one card we don't know about. Probably gonna get just a mountain, right? It's gotta be basic mountain, yeah. To play Bloodbraid Elf so you don't give us any more life. Or do you? Hmm. Bloodbraid Elf is gone. As long as it's not a scavenging. <sighs> of course it is. I would immediately give me a life and uh, gain a life here if I were them. Yep, you got it. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's pretty scary. I think we'd be dead if they actually ate two things. This guy does survive. It doesn't survive this. It does survive this, though. Three, four, five. They, oh, well, we gain life, though. We'd have to gain at least one life from that. I don't think Roller's too clunky. It's a two-mana spell. One less to cast. Oh, actually, one, two, three, four. It's not yet. It will be once you mutagenic growth, I guess. Get busy cracking. I think this guy's too clunky. Because now they can put the, they can make it a five five, so we can take eight here and go to one. I mean, actually, they have to. We'd have to gain a life, so we go to two. One, two, three, four, five. So this guy costs three. Any basic land is good. I only have three others in the deck. Blood Cleave Cliffs is also fine. But then we still have to deal with two creatures instead of one, so. Or they just play Reality Sp Yep, that's probably the game. And Lightning Bolt. All right. So I'm pretty sure we could have won that match if we actually um, shot their face. I think we can actually go down to one Bedlam Reveler here. What else deals three damage for one mana? It's got to be something, right? We don't have Wizard's Lightning because it costs three unless you have one specific creature, which is Lava Runner. Just doesn't do anything. So it's basically just a rift bolt that you can't suspend. I do like Searing Blaze. You guys keep mentioning Wizard's Lightning. Like, I don't think you understand that that's a three mana spell in this deck. My concern with Searing Blaze is that there's going to be numerous times where we don't have enough land to trigger it. Um, like even burst lighting, like we never have, we're never gonna have five. Sky wizard? Oh, that guy is a wizard now. That's interesting. Huh. Let's try Flame of Killed. Oh, I like that a lot, Matthew Ori. Good call, buddy. Mm. 
what if three dollars? Wow. <laughs> Oh, Kerwit, my friend. You are good times. Oh, good lord. Actually the best. Um, We gotta take one thing out for a flame. We can move a skull crack to the sideboard in case they don't have life gain. We'll take this cough out again. Flame of Keld seems super sweet. Let's try that. Yeah, the odds of us having to sack a creature, having a creature to sack to, uh, well, this is standard, so let's not do that. To collateral damage, as well as also wanting to sack that creature is pretty low. Scar Mage? What does that do? Okay, well, that's not what it's called. You have to tell me what Scar Mage is. I have no idea what that is. Oh, Soul Scar Mage. Okay. Yeah, well, looking up Soul is probably not going to help. Hmm. That actually could be pretty good. It doesn't have haste, which I think was the point. Close you, close you. Hmm. I think this is still good. I also don't know if I want to play four Grim Lava Mancers. Oh, interesting. I see. Oh. I see. Well, see, the thing is, we're not playing. We're not playing. Is it because that's not the deck the the person who commissioned the deck built? So we're trying to actually stay true to the spirit of the deck that they wanted to play. I, I mean, like, there's no point in them submitting a deck and me being like, "Let me change the entire deck," and 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 now you're going to play this instead. That's not really what the purpose is. I really don't like Phyrexian spells against the uh, the opposing red deck. It feels really bad. God, I still have four cards. Yeah, this is pretty bad. We actually probably should have killed one of them. You're going to shoot my face. That's cool. I'll take two anyway. I think we're dead. <laughs> every every spell they have kills us, so. Oh, they took damage there. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know why that took so long. That took way longer than it needed to. All right. Well, I think Death Shadow is probably MVP in this matchup. We can take out one. Take out the Lava Spike, actually. I'd rather kill your creatures. I will play first. I will keep this hand. Get in there. So next time we can play this guy, Burst Lightning or Lava Spike. Oh. 
Oh, apparently they are playing Death Shadow. So I guess we're... I guess we're even. Oh, that was good. I always yield to that. Seven, yeah. That's where they play uh, like six, six Death Shadow. Uh, this might be a red black deck shadow death shadow list that's been putting up results. I have no idea. Roadkill, thank you so much for the sub. Five months in a row. Woof. Oh wow, the old twofer. That's a good one. That's a classic. Oof. Well, this is a 1-1 one, one right now, but in the future. Hmm. So I can play this guy as a 1-1. One, one. Let's kill you. I don't like you being at six and then being able to have to kill this, but. Just wonder what they were waiting for. They have mutagenic growth, gut shot. Cyclone Street Wraith doesn't do it. This card's super interesting. Shevin, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. So this guy, 2-2. Two, two. Sure, we'll risk it. Risk it for Le Biscuit. This card seems great. Claim to fame seems really good. They're at five, huh? I mean, if they attack, I'll take it. Abbot of Carol, keep hitting. Mutagenic growth. It's pretty good. Got a deal on it. It was the least I could do. Appreciate that, buddy. Thank you so much. I got a deal on some bits. They fell off the truck. I just thought of a new type of salad. You take some lettuce, onions, maybe some pickles, a beef patty, and then instead of a bowl, you put it on a bun. Wow, that's a really ingenious salad. So they have mutagenic growth in hand. Or in 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 limbo. In purgatory. Or you could leave the pickles on because they're nature's treasure. Just like Juposhi. Man, where's Juposhi been? I haven't seen Juposhi in ages. (sighs) 
This is a, a trying turn here. I mean, you can put this guy to a 5-5, five five, which is pretty big. I'm probably not blocking anything. I don't know what's going on, though. Amp, show me the biddies. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, brother. Oh, a Blood Crypt untapped. Fame on this guy. Okay. Trigger them prowesses his. Five, six, seven. They have a mutagenic growth in exile, which would be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, so we have to block here. Well, that is sad, isn't it? You're at three. So we have actually a lot of live draws here. <laughs> oh man, gift bits? Get a get a load of that, man. What a time to be alive, Twitch. Okay, trigger both these processes. That guy's an eight five. He does not have trample, so we're actually not gonna we could take three here. We go to five. It's probably best. Oh, that'll do, pig. That will do. Boop. <laughs> Give me a little boop. Boop them. They left themselves, I mean, to be fair, they left themselves open to a lot of burn. Um, we want to keep things like Burst Lighting over Lava Spike, because despite the fact that Lava Spike deals more damage, we do want to actually be able to kill things like Abbot of Carol Keep or the other dude. Should have played Death Shadow one turn. We'd be dead. We'd literally be dead if we played Death Shadow one turn later. Would have literally died if we played. I will keep this hand. Oh, that's rough. Oh my god. These bits. I can't handle it. Also, Inquisition, uh, it's pretty good. Being on the play does seem important. You're not wrong. I would agree with you. Oh, you took my favorite lady friend. I'll just get one of these jobbies. We have a ton of removal, so that's good. Oof. I, <laughs> Albarn, I was thinking the same thing, buddy. It has been mentioned. Uh, it's because I'm taking ownership. Why can't cheer ba why can't I cheer bacon bits? Oh, a land. How nice. I'm gonna crack you for a basic red land. Is that what they're called? Redlands? I don't know. I'm not I'm not a big fan of them, so hard to say. I know you have this stupid mutagenic growth, so Oh you don't? I just get a free land and get to kill that guy? That's great news. Everybody wins. Really? This is what you want to do with your life? You just want to inquisition me forever? Well, this is the best one. 
But we might actually be able to kick these this game. We're looking good on lands here. Man, that's a good dude. With your help, this guy gets haste Arena. Get in there. Nah, that game was great. Even if it came down to a gut shot, like I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it was even better that it came down to a gut shot. Everything ended up happening well. Like I got I made top eight. I got silver. I made ten thousand dollars. Hard to really complain about that. Oh wow, that was that's actually pretty good. Now you can just cast the claim and get your goblin Guidario back. What's this guy doing? Give me a land? No land? Goblin God myself? Lightning Bolt. Okay. So we know you drew that. Anyone know when the Vintage Cube is coming out in June sometime? Please respond. Anybody? Uh, I actually don't know when the Vintage Cube is coming out. There's no real easy way on the wizard site to figure that out. Yeah, that was the Pro Tour. There's no real way on the wizard site where you can't be like, oh, when is the cube coming out? And then there's no like page that they're like, oh, here are all the cube. I wish they had a calendar. I wish they had a Magic Online calendar. You guys both just linked that same match. Oh, look at this guy. Well, I'm a big shadow. Are you going to you know, do, do one of these jobbies too? Are you going to fame it? Make this guy famous? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're going to crack Scalding Tarn and uh, take three more so it's eight and then Lightning Bolt us? If I recorded that Lucky 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 song on Sherpa, would you want it for your stream? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. If you recorded that and sent it to me, I would definitely put it on the soundboard. Spencer, please do that, dude. Also, thank you so much for the bits, man. I really appreciate it. Please do that. I would be so ecstatic about that. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be so sick, dude. Oh... Oh, what is this? Magic Online Events? I think this is incorrect, though. Like, I always look at this, and I'm like... Yeah, see, like, it doesn't actually say... Hold on, let me go to June. Let me see if there's anything. Yeah, it just tells you when the mocks are. It doesn't say when any cubes start, right? Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, it doesn't have any 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 insight as to when certain things happen. God, this guy gets even bigger. Gross. I can't not attack you though. Swift so Spear is pretty good. Seven. All right. Let's see if you got the teamer battle rage. Let's see if you want to draw this monastery of spear. You probably do. Yep, you do. Yep. So it's 11. Oh, I didn't I didn't realize I had to do that now. That's really sad. Otherwise I would have killed this, but then they could have lightning bolted in response. There was really no way around that. We are one one land or one damage away from killing them, which is extremely uh unfortunate. Well, that was really that was much closer than I would have expected it to be. Um yeah, that was really sad. One point away. I don't know if I like Vexing Devil. Like, at, at that point, we're kind of just turning into a regular burn deck, though, right? Um... Yeah, 
Yeah, I would like to see a game where we get to play Flame of Keld. I think we can try again. How many matches is this? Are we on... Is this match five? I think we're 2-2. Two, two. Also, I do like Claim to Fame Death Shadow, but I think that's a that's a different deck, it feels like. Or not Claim to Fame Death Shadow, Claim to Fame uh, Vexing Devil. That seems really interesting. Let's see if I can tell. I don't know if there's a way to... My account, game history. I love that there's like these headers, but you can't actually click them to sort them by this, so I literally have to just scroll down. Um... It's only there's no way it's only been three, right? This is only round four. Interesting, interesting. I will play first. Uh this hand seems pretty great. So we can easily get a just a mountain with this guy, which we will do immediately because I don't like having more lands than I need in my deck. Anything more than two is uh more lands than I need. Is there a good Helm deck in Standard? Probably not. I cannot imagine that. Well, Wizard's Lightning does not look good because we only have six Wizards. So otherwise it just costs three mana. We've went over this like four times. <laughs> we have two wizards. Unless you meant right here at this exact moment. Um, which is very, very niche. This was not the guy I wanted to play. I actually meant to play this guy, but I got distracted by the wizard's lightning comments. So. But it all worked out. Are they dead? Wow. Well, uncontested. I feel like Thoughtseize is probably good here. I don't think they're going to be getting a life, so we probably take the skull crack out. I'll bring in one Thoughtseize. Take out a gut shot, bring in a thought seize. Sideboarding is weird for this deck because you don't want to take out too many burn spells. Because they're all pretty useful. But you kind of have like, I think, gut shot and wild slash are your most likely to take out. I'll keep this hand. Drowner of Hope. Ooh, exciting. And Fatal Push. No. Survived again. I have no idea if I'm going to do any lower wind drafts. Um, I guess we just play Goblin Guide. Can I see what you got in your hand, my friend? Cast down. That's rude. Oh. Well, that's not very good. Drowner of Hope still. All right. Seems good. Polluted Delta. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're at virtual five. So look at that. Suspend. Lava spike your face. Flame slash your face. 
And now we can play Flame of Keld this turn. We did give them a Dark Slick Shore, so you know that these cards and whatever they drew. So even no matter what we draw, we can pretty much play it. Unless it's Bedlam Reveler. Um, what what did they just do? They just got rid of a... Interesting. Liliana. Okay. Well, that does shut off Goblin Guide for the foreseeable... But now we get to draw three cards, which is pretty insane. Oh, uh, Lorman Draft is probably normal, like 12 tickets, I imagine. Let's check it out. Leagues. Flashback Lorman Swiss. Uh, two event tickets and two Lorwin boosters? What? Wait, what? Ten event tickets. Okay, whatever. Why would you need two Lorwin boosters to do the draft? That's really weird. Boy. Boy, did that work out for us. Three fancy gentlemen. And that's the end. All right. Yeah, I like this version a lot better. Uh, I like the Flame of Kelds. I think one Skullcrack is just fine. I could see putting Skullscar Mages in here and adding Wizard's Lightning. They don't have haste, though. And uh, I think what John wanted to do was maximize the number of one-mana, two-power haste creatures. But that is a good strategy. I also like the Vexing Devil claim to fame. So those are two different routes you can take with the deck. I'm going to play one more match um, so we can f facilitate like a league, a league-esque experience. And... Ten bones, ha, Lorwyn draft. All right, Kerwin, we have a, a Lorwyn draft in the queue then. Um, modern twenty. This guy. All right. So two two so far, not bad actually. Oh, uh, this hand seems fine. We'll keep it. Do you think this list is like IQPPTQ viable? I'm really interested in knowing something for cards. Um, I think with some changes it would be. I think there's definitely better configurations, but this configuration was stipulated on having uh, taking advantage of all the two power, um, two power one drops with haste. So Goblin Guide, Monastery Swift Spear, and the other one. Gitu Lava Runner. Okay, you called my bluff. I get you. I get you. Uh, don't you ever worry about stream sniping when you're going against... Yeah, every, all, all the time. But nothing you can do about it. Just because I worry about it doesn't mean I can change it. I mean, if we're playing in a modern two-man queue and you want to stream snipe, knock yourself out. If the, if the win in the two-man queue means that much to you, you can have it. Just tell me. Just tell me in advance. I'm going to watch your stream because the win means that much to me. And I'll just give it to you. I'll literally just concede to you. Because that seems like a, a, a wiser choice to me. So we have no black cards in the main deck, so we can feel safe just getting this and suspending. Oh yeah, definitely. Winning is definitely more important than, than, than actually enjoying the game, but that's what I'm saying. I mean, just like tell me in advance and I'll just concede. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, <laughs> classic! I uh, love this deck. My favorite. 
Yeah, I'll use the ghost. Yep. All right. Always a pleasure, Lean and Arbiter. You are never not an absolute scumbag. Well, let's see if you block. You probably won't. Oh, he already dealt the damage? Dang it. Yeah, that was stupid. I just missed, uh... I missed the stupid window. So we're missing a point here. And that's sad, because we have exactly 12 in our hand. <laughs> yeah, that's stupid. Watch, this guy never gets another hit, and they, they end up winning the game at one life. Seems good. Here, this is what's going to happen. Nah, we have like four turns to, to hit something, though. I was also reading the chat. I always have, I'm making excuses for misplays because people always criticize misplays on stream, especially because you're be able to see them. But I mean, like realistically, it's very, very hard to play entirely correctly when you're reading chats. A second land would be nice, just because I like lands. Ill Omen, no, no worries, not your fault, man. I can't blame the chat for my misplays. I'm just trying to make. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not blaming anything. I'm just. Uh, I'm just giving reasons why misplays take place. Oh, are you going to path this guy? Oh, no, you're just going to have Restoration Angel and blink this guy. Yep, that's pretty good. I feel like this game isn't close if we have one extra land, and since we don't, it's actually just terrible. Yep, Exile my Rift Bolt. Three, four, five. We go to eleven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, if we draw a land here, we can still win. We can go three, three, put them to four, and then three, two. One misplay, Buck. <laughs> oh man. Yep, eleven. You go to eight. Or actually not go to eight. We take eight next turn, go to three. Give me a land. You're not a land at all. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I think we're dead now. Actually the one the one the one point is definitely gonna matter here because if we hit a land now, then we could deal them six and they would be at nine. Or they would be at seven, rather. You gonna you gonna activate this? Because you win if you activate it. Yep, you just hit. actually no, it doesn't matter. Okay, feel a little better about that. It's amazing what one land did. Uh, one 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 ghost quarter was able to do to us. It's very sad. I don't actually like the gut shots. I think they're great at uh, enabling the turn one G two lava runner, but I don't think they're necessary. Which is better from the stream perspective of straight donations or the bitch cheers? Um, I don't know if it matters, really. Like, I know you pay, like, viewers pay for the uh, the, the surcharge on the bits up front, right? So, like, I, mean, I think for $5 of the bits, you pay, like, more than $5. So, that's already taken out. So, I think I think streamers get 100% of the bits. I think for donations, they get, I have it, I have it set up so that, like, it's, uh, 
it takes out less for you know because I get lots of small donations, small small payments. So it takes out less. It's like a certain PayPal feature that you can enable. So I don't know. I, I don't think it really matters one way or the other. Whatever whatever's easiest for you guys is totally. I will play first. Uh, this hand we will keep. Dang it. Dang it. But the difference is, like, you can actually use, like, cheers and you can use emotes for, for cheering. So, I mean, it's, it's totally up to you guys. Whatever is easiest for you guys is totally fine. I will lightning bolt. Sure. Whatever you want to do. No way around that. Warship? Well, that's a card we have no answer for whatsoever. Literal zero answer for a warship, I think. Flicker Wisp. Sure. I guess we can kill their creatures. I guess that's an answer, but... Aspiring Vantage. How about a creature? That's a creature. Thalia. All right. Grim Lava Answer is very good right now. I used to write bank software, so I know all about that. Yeah, that would that would make sense. Yep. Blade Splicer and what did you play? Planes? Seems good. So right now we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If this guy survives, which he should based on the board state. Could also actually shoot this and get two points in. Yeah, we'll do that. It gets one less point, but it keeps it keeps the goblin god on the board. Pia and Kieran Alar. That's a thing. Interesting. That's interesting to me because, like, we're not really going to give them a chance to flicker wisp that guy. And even if they do, I don't think it's relevant. Like, they take one, two, three, four from this guy over the next two turns. So, would you play Mountain? Is this the Mountain? Yeah, you're not actually drawing anything that we don't know about, so I guess it has to be. Sure. Interesting. I will take one. Let's get rid of Rifbolt and Bloodstain Mire. That's actually reasonable. No lands. Flicker was number two. All right. Do you just block everything here? One. Do you do one one? You do a little one one, Jobby? Oh, two on you. Okay. Oh, there we go. Everybody's dead. Uh, I don't foresee Flicker Wisp or uh, Goblin Guide actually getting much value after this. 
I think taking down this board is fine. We can deal them two, put them to five. Next turn we can deal them four. I think we're gonna do that. We know everything they have in hand. Plus it feeds the goblin guide. Or the Grim Lava Mancer, rather. So we know your hand is... You played Tech Edge. What's your target here, I wonder? Does it matter? Probably not. Let's get rid of Lava Spike and... Actually, let's not do that. Let's get rid of the creatures because we do have one Bedlam Reveler in the deck. I don't think it's going to matter at this point because it's still going to cost four. Well, six, seven, eight, and it's, it's going to cost six. Hey, three damage spell here kills them, though, so that's what we really want. And that's not... Actually, that'll, that'll do it, too. They probably didn't attack. I don't know if they should have attacked first. Like if, because if I block for some reason, then they just don't get the flicker wisp. Just depends on what they put their value on. I guess we could have also shot it in response. Maybe attacking was correct. Um, yeah, I think this feels fine. Like it, like it is. Oh, Roberto. Hey, Robert, when are we hanging out again? I forgot. Yeah, I'll definitely keep the sand. Cliff him. Swift him. Cliff him and swift him. That's what I always say. The problem with their deck is that they just don't take a lot of damage. Man, my kingdom for uh, mutagenic growth here. I mean, one of these guys is getting killed. Wow. No? Intriguing. Blade Splicer. Shuts down the whole thing. Eidolon. Fascinating. I almost just want to keep Lava Runner, or keep Burst Lightning up because we can actually use it. We can actually kick it this game. So I think we'll do that. What up, Valley Man? Waiting on some other, do you ever, we're basically all settled in with the new home. Okay, well that doesn't answer my question. I asked you a question, Robert. Sober, sober Michael. Or actually, Michael is sober Robert, isn't he? That's funny. Actually, I think I just cast this here. <laughs> here comes Restoration Angel, guys. You ready? Okay. 
Yep. To the surprise of no one. Oh, well, they got a six. We lose one guy. Burst Lightning puts them to four, which is actually pretty strong. Or puts them to two, rather. Oh. Wasn't that cute. Path to Exile times two. <laughs> Why would you do that? I have five lands. That's really strange that you would... It's really weird that you would do that. Your lands seem way more valuable than mine. Hmm. Yes, let us pass here. We're at 20. We have some time. Are you going to path my guy? I will burst lightning early in an arbiter. Because that actually makes this four damage. So we get to keep four damage by getting a land. So yeah, thanks. Seems good. The deck list isn't correct. I mean, it's been updated. I mean, the whole stream has been updating the deck list. I can't update it every single time we make a change, so. Surprisingly aggressive. Uh, it wouldn't have been... No. Actually, you're right. That would have been game. That was a good point. What did they get? Burst Lightning? Sure. And kill my Lava Runner? Sure. What? They didn't do it? Intriguing. I'm very confused. Oh, they couldn't... They can't cast two spells. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty okay. So they're basically at two. All right, yeah, we could have actually uh, paid the two, had double burst lightning in hand. That would have been better. No blocks. Blade Splicer? That would be one of the only things I could think of. Well, they can't cast anything else here, so... Does Gitu Lava Runner just win the game for us because they didn't give any blockers back, assuming that we didn't have double three-mana burn spell? That'll do. So you're going to say like Flash and Resto here. Yeah, that's the only card they can play this turn. All right. 3-2 with the deck. Surprisingly reasonable. Not bad. Not bad. Nice. Against some pretty reasonable archetypes. Red, green, Eldrazi. Uh, the black, red aggro deck. Uh, red, white, and death and taxes. 
either way, this is the final list. So if you guys are curious, you guys can check it out. I'll move all these over. I'll move everything here over so that it looks reasonable. So this is the final list. Um, I still think there's room for some changes, but I'm just not sure what they'd be at this point. Um, deck looks sweet. Bedlam Reveler and Inflame of Keld are nice ways to refill your hand. Uh, so that's cool. I also, I think Surgical and Gutshot are probably some of the weaker cards. They do enable you to attack with G2 Lava Runner, but I think the, the life cost and the card cost is not really worth it. You can just wait an extra turn and attack with Lava Runner. Or in the late game, it's still just a two power haste guy. And I think Mutagenic Growth is easily the best of the Phyrexian Mana one one man the Phyrexian Mana one mana spells that you can be casting for free. So uh, yeah, John, thank you so much for letting me check out the deck. Hopefully you got some advice. Hopefully uh, it seemed the deck seems a little more competitive. Um, don't forget there is I think Soul the Soul Scar Mage package with Wizards Wizards Lightning. Uh, that's not how that's spelled at all. Which is deals three damage. Uh, it, it costs two less if you control a wizard. Soulscar Mage is a wizard. G2 Lava Runner is a wizard. So it's a lot easier to cast in modern. Valley Man, just wanted you to know I appreciate all the work you put in for content creation. Also, nice round numbers are where it's at. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That is awesome, dude. Thank you. Um, there's also Vexing Devil. And I'm only showing you these because I'm not sure how familiar you are with, with the format of the cards. Uh, it's a 4 3 for one mana. When it enters the battlefield, any opponent may have it deal four damage to them if they do sacrifice it. So you either get a 4 3 or it dies and they just take four. So for one mana, for four damage is pretty good. And then, since you're already running black, you could play Claim to Fame, which is, for one mana, you return a creature card with your mana two or less from your graveyard, which is every creature in your deck. So you bring back a Swift Spear, a Lava Runner, a Goblin Guide, or the Vexing Devil, which is probably the most powerful option because it's another four damage. And then the other half is Fame, which target creature gets plus two, plus zero in haste. So then you have a 6-3 uh, Hasty Vexing Devil if they let you keep it. So that's pretty good. Um, I mean, either way, like, there's a lot of options for the deck, but I think this is a sweet iteration. I think Lava Runner is very powerful. It was doing work. And in decks like this, every incremental point, of every every two damage you can deal is really important. So, um, yeah, sweet. Thank you so much. If you guys are interested in having your own deck critiqued for having me play it on stream and upload it to YouTube, uh, definitely check out my Twitch profile below. It's in the it's in the description, and uh, we, can, we can talk about that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. I'll see you guys next time.